Uh, hi, my name is Amit Anil, uh, Vision Catalyst at Amit and Amit, and I'll be speaking on the Prosperity Show all about how to use your purpose of your business and your actual original why um, starting your business, how to use that to really get ahead and break out of competition and succeed. And that's exactly what you need to do in 2018 to differentiate yourself. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the vision catalyst himself, Amit. Amit, how are you doing, my man? I'm very good. I'm very good, Prosper. Yourself? Fantastic. Now, obviously, viewers that are watching this show are on a mission to get their business to be profitable and enjoyable. But you can't do that without the, you know help of people that are well versed with brand development, marketing strategy, social media, or some sort of content creation. Now I've brought in Amit who has a passion for helping purposeful businesses that truly want to help their customers. And his help is to help you, his goal, sorry, is to help you connect with the right people, develop long lasting customer relationships and build a loyal brand community. Now, obviously, if you're looking to find the right marketing mix and also, um, you know, ongoing sales and a long term growth, Amit is the man for you. Now, Amit, I could go on and on, you know, spilling out your accolades, but I think you would do a better job. Thank you so much for the time you're giving us on the show today. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you became the vision catalyst. Oh, that's great. I'll give you the brief, the brief summary. So I started off as a graphic designer and then upskill myself with marketing and advertising. Um, and I was always very interested in the art of creation. You know, I feel like it's very easy to follow on processes that have been going on for a long time, but especially with the recent entrepreneur, entrepreneurial boom, it's like a lot of people have ideas and a lot of people have visions, but executing them becomes a, becomes a harder point, especially in today's industry where there is just an ample amount of tools that allow you to get your content out there. You know? So there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's SEO, there's content strategies. And for someone who isn't on par with all of these things, it can be very confusing. So essentially all my background working with small, medium businesses and my passion was definitely startups. Like getting something created from nothing is definitely an amazing thing. And I have to get my hats off to anyone who ventures on that task. A lot like yourself, actually, that's kind of one of the reasons why, you know, I was so excited when, when you reached out to me. So, um, so that kind of led me to thinking, okay, how, what can I actually do? You know, my speciality has now come down to the fact that I can look at a business and analyze them in a couple of hours and say, okay, this is where we need to hit. And these are the areas that you need to improve on. Um, and I, I try to do it in a very uh, simple manner without making it too complicated, not enough, like not a lot of jargon. It's simple. In these three months, you focus on that. Those three months, you focus on that. But the, the main thing I have to point out to all the viewers um, watching is that it is a slow process. It's nothing that promises overnight results is going to be long lasting. And if anything, it's going to be detrimental to the business. So everything that comes down to is, you know, if you have a vision, if you have an idea, I get very excited to contribute. And if I can put in my five cents to help you get to where you are, then I sleep a happy man. Absolutely. That's a really good position to be because if your mission is to help other people, um, you know, be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you are being valuable to society. And as Jim Rohn says, um, you are paid in direct accordance to the value you actually put yeah. um, into society right there. Now, Amit, thank you so much for that, um, you know, enlightening part of your um, startup journey as well as you're also helping other people grow. Now, Obviously, you now have accumulated this expertise where you did mention that you can look at a business in a couple of hours, you already know what's wrong with it and how you can actually fix it from your experience and the people that you've been looking at and seeing in a couple of hours, what sort of things are missing in their businesses or what sort of perceptions do they have about what they're supposed to be doing, which obviously is wrong that you and your work can fix. The one main thing would be purpose. Um, it's very easy to get 
influenced by external factors. Um, and the one main thing I go back to is what's your purpose? What is it that you want to achieve? You know, how do you want to improve people's lives? How do you want to actually add value to customers and do it in your own way, do it in your own style, you know, like there's only one of you in the world. And if you believe in yourself and if you believe in what it is that you're creating, then others will join, others will support you. And that's the one main thing. Absolutely. Your purpose, your why, and the reason why you actually started that business would drive you. Um, even if nobody's watching, you have to be putting stuff out there. And I'm really excited about the point that you just brought up that there's only one of you in the world. I mean, obviously, if you look at the height of the fingers, no fingers have the same height. Now, why are people afraid to venture out on their own and be so different um, that they have a unique value proposition in, in, in the market. What, what, what sort of experience have you got with that? I think the main experience is they don't know how to communicate it. Um, they have the idea in their mind, but how are they going to actually get someone else to envision the same idea? You know, um, communication is the hardest part, um, not just in a business marketing way, but even in a relationship way, you know, like friends, family, it's so hard to actually get the right point through. Um, and the second main thing would be, you know, fear of failure. Now we're going beyond um, business and marketing, but more so into, you know, self-awareness there, but just being able to put themselves out there because I feel as though we're conditioned over, you know, uh, primary school, high school, uni, job, whatever the case is, to not make mistakes. Um, but if, you know, if, mis if making mistakes was truly so wrong, we wouldn't have so many technology advancements. We wouldn't have all the knowledge that we have around the world of, you know, us as a race, uh, sorry, a species. Um, but yeah, failure and, and the lack of ability to communicate the vision is the two main things um, that I've faced so far. Absolutely. It took 10,000 attempts for Thomas Edison to actually come up with the light bulb. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to be, uh, you know, breaking the rules enough, then obviously things are not going to change and you are not going to transform either the freedom that you want or the value that you can put out in the marketplace. That is very profound in the work that you're doing there. Now, you know, you've had this experience. You've started off with brand uh, design. Now you um, actually helping craft brands sometimes from the ground up or brands that are already, um, you know, established. Knowing what you know now, um, if you were to start all over again or if you were to start your own business, what is the one thing that you would look at first? Would it be um, your service? Would it be your product? Would it be your skills? Or would it be how you actually combine all of that and package it to deliver a product? Because all of those things are three different things, as you would know. And some people normally fixate on the one thing while letting go of other things. So what, what would you think is um, you know, the way to, to go if you were to start afresh? Starting afresh, I think the main thing is making, uh, this is hard to put into one sentence, but would be to make calculated decisions. Um, a lot of times businesses, they're very excited, like, yep, let's go ahead and do it. And further down the track, the lack of preparation or lack of research actually bites them in the bum further down the track. And that's when you end up in the fixing mode, which actually ends up costing you a lot of time and money. So. At the start, I wish I did that as well, where I actually did some research. I went and talked to the people um, and the businesses that I wanted to work with and got some feedback on the ideas that I had and what I wanted to achieve. That would have definitely given me a whole extra six months that I now have spent, you know, just figuring out and fixing what I didn't know at the start. But yeah, research and getting a good understanding of where I stand in the industry is definitely going to be the main thing. Absolutely. So businesses that just venture into it, um, you know, like what they say, if you're an entrepreneur, just jump and then the parachute will open uh, on your way down. Um, what are they actually missing out on or what sort of, you know, uh, bottlenecks are they going to be facing further down the track? Because what we're trying to establish here is, yeah. you know, bringing out your experience with what has been working for other people, um, mm -hmm. just so that the person who's watching this show right now would actually know how to start a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So the question then is, what sort of bottlenecks are people going to be finding further down the track if they don't actually research uh, on the particular business they're getting into? The, the, the biggest thing is going to be unexpected costs and unexpected um, things that you have to do to get out there. Because 
you probably know just as well as I do, the, the bigger you get, the more you got to keep doing to grow that, you know? So um, having the mindset to be very versatile, to change, to be very versatile to unexpected costs or unexpected, you know, events that come up, but being able to pivot and then optimize on that, that's going to be the one main, the one main thing that's going to come down further down the track, which is you don't know what you don't know. So till that comes up, you be, you're in, you're in paradise but when it happens then you go into a reactive mode so changing it from a being reactive to being a proactive person is the, is the main thing absolutely you did mention a little bit earlier on when we started about tools of the trade is there any sort of tools that you would recommend for somebody who's either just starting out or somebody who's really just trying to um you know stay afloat so that they can actually be able to reach out to their audiences if they have done their research They've, you know, mastered their message and now they really just want to, um, you know, put that message out there to the people they've researched that they are, um, could be their target audience. Yeah, definitely. The one main thing would be to exhaust their own existing resources. A lot of time businesses and business owners come to me saying, this is what I want to do and what's it going to cost me? You know, how many campaigns can I run? How many marketing funnel, click funnels can we set up? And the first question is, have you even reached out to your own networks? Are you openly saying like, this is what I'm doing? Share with your networks what you're doing and you'll be surprised how much support and growth you'll get just by doing that. You know, like look at all the resources that you have at hand that don't cost you anything. They might, they might end up being a little more manual work, but at the start, that's so fundamental. If everyone knows what you're doing and what you're passionate about, it comes back to you a lot quicker than you can think. Absolutely. So just in case somebody's watching this show right now, Amit and is really intrigued about, you know, what it is that you're doing and how you could possibly help them considering it's almost getting into 2018. Um, what's the best way that people can get a hold of you? The best way is going on to my website, uh, www.amitandamit.com. Or if you just search me up on LinkedIn or Facebook, Amit Anil, I'm always open to have a conversation about, you know, what people are trying to do. And if anything, and it gives me an opportunity to keep this thing sharp. So yeah, I mean, and you know, if you want to contact me in any way, um, yeah, reach out to me. Absolutely. Now, Amit, we're almost getting into 2018 right now. You would understand that a lot of, um, you know, uh, people would want to start their own business or, would be going into year two or year three or year four. And as we know that 95% of businesses don't go past year five. And this is pretty much the audience that we're talking to right now. What sort of advice would you, um, you know, help, I mean, leave us with, especially when people are segueing into a new year with new beginnings and, you know, what it, what it is that they can actually do to actually enhance, you know, their market position that they got the last year and you know for further continue to grow their business so they don't become a statistic yeah definitely the one uh, quote that i actually remind myself every every time is um you can't expect a different result by doing the same thing um and to bring it down to an actual structured process is what i've implemented is once every quarter i look at everything i'm doing and i will try something different if i'm not happy with the results and that's actually turned out to you know, it turned out really well. Worked out, uh, sorry, turned out to work out really well because it's helped me to develop that mindset. You know, that you just you just don't know, what you don't know. So it's hard trying something new as a business owner because you're trying to be so safe and you're trying to be so protective of all the stuff you've done. Um, but if anything, getting out there and trying something new is, is definitely going to be um, a huge benefit for businesses in the new year. Absolutely. And if you're watching this show right now, you would anticipate that, uh, you know, every time we're bringing in people, especially like I meet with a passion for helping you have a purposeful business that um, you're going to go out there and truly help your customers. And as I mentioned earlier on, you're paid in direct proportion to the value that you're going to be bringing to the marketplace. Now, if you're giving people value and they're happy, and if you help as many people get what they want, you will in turn 
get what you want. So that's the reason why we're bringing in experts like this. And I urge you and encourage you right this moment to subscribe to this channel um, so that you never miss out on insights like this that can help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Amit, I can't thank you enough for the time that you've given us on this show, the value and the level of expertise that you've thrown um, with us today. Um, compliments of the season to you, Masa. Thank you, man. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm always, always up for connecting and collaboration. Absolutely. Thank you so much.